channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the Kate Spade. Uh, I think it's called the Rain Leather Tote. It is like pebbled leather. Leather. It's part of their new spring collection. Um, I will link it in the description bar. You can find it on Kate Spade. You can find it at Shop Bop. You can find it at Nordstrom's. I'm not sure about Bloomingdale's. But you could find it pretty much anywhere Kate Spade is sold. So now, I have I have an obsession with Kate Spade. If you follow Royally Pink and you read the blog, you know that I love Kate Spade more than any designer, more than Tori Burch, more than Rebecca Minkoff, even more than like luxury designers like um, Louis Vuitton. So I have a f and I have a number of Kate Spade bags in my collection. Um, I have a handbag collection that I think will be going up soon. I just have to like look at the footage, and if not, I have to refilm it. But when I saw, and I, a few months, like two months ago, I was like, I really feel like I need a new tote. I was using my Tory Burch Gemini Link tote and switching between that and my Henry Bendel Jet Setter backpack and my Tory Burch Perry Leather tote. But I was like, I really want a Kate Spade tote. I had gotten rid of um, a Kate Spade Cedar Street Hayden, I'm pretty sure, which was like the first like big Kate Spade bag that I purchased and I purchased that like um after my first paycheck at like my current job at Laura Geller so it had sentimental value but there was some color transfer and I started using it for work again and it just it wasn't working it was too small for what I needed it to be and because it had a shoulder strap it just like wasn't practical for me to get in and out of I like need the opening to be right at my underarm and I'm 5'2 so most bags like they usually hit me like right at my hip or right under my arm like this bag I'll show you hits me right like right here so it's like not that bad oh my goodness I am my nails are so my, I painted my nails for Easter and they're just chipping okay so whatever so once so I went I I went onto Nordstrom.com and I was like, I really want a new Kate Spade bag. This was before Kate Spade had wrote, had, Kate Spade had like just been releasing their spring collection. So I saw this bag and I was like, yes, that's perfect. I wanted black. I wanted, I love the scallop detail. And I just think it was like the perfect, perfect bag. So I ordered it. It came in, fell in love. The, the leather is like pebbled so it's but it's very soft it's like very supple but it's um but it still has like that nice grainy feel to it it does get dirty so I don't know if you could see it but you could kind of see like the whiteness right here and I don't know what really that's from it's on the front there's none on the back so it's not like it's from color transfer because I hold my bag the front facing forward. Um, so that could just be like water spots or wear spots or something like that. Um, I'm just like picking my nail polish up. So this bag, I don't know the dimensions. I'll put them in the down bar below, but it's pretty roomy. It opens up like so. So you have like a nice open mouth. The inside is lined with... Um, what would it be called just like a soft lining and has like the striped details on it and I can fit a lot in here I fit my Henry Bendel planner my two mini Louis Vuitton agendas I usually fit lunch and breakfast and some granola bars and snacks I fit my water bottle and then I have a huge I have my Kylie cosmetics case filled with so much stuff like there's so much stuff in here um and then I just have my headphones and a charger and a hair clip I have Kate Spade sunglasses and then I have a um g a graphic New York gra graphic image like mini notebook that I've had forever I have my work journal from May Designs. 
I have the Kate Spade card. This is my headphones holder because they're Kate Spade as well. This is just a random lipstick. Um, this is my, this is a Chanel power bank. It's like a compact mirror, but it's also a charger. I got it from Shop Trendy, but I would not recommend ordering, I would not recommend ordering from them. If you could find this somewhere else, do that because I ordered on March 12th. And I didn't get it until maybe last week. Um, I was horrified. They didn't answer any emails. They didn't answer any of their social media messages. I was basically like abusing them on social media because they, they just didn't answer. But so I have my portable charger. Then I have my business card holder, which is also Kate Spade. It's like their little, this is new also. I think I ordered it when I ordered the bag or maybe before. And it's just like a little like ID holder and it's um, Shakespeare as you like it and they have one with the great Gatsby which I like really want and they have one with a much to do about nothing just like really really cute stuff so that's it the bag is empty and it's a very lightweight bag this bag weighs nothing with nothing in it it does get heavy rather quickly though when i do there have been days where i stuff it to the brim and it is just incredibly heavy and um it it it, it hurts like it hurts my shoulder but also these straps are super soft so it, it they don't annoy me that much i did buy um this little sticker from kate spade that says la vie in rose uh, they have a lot. I have a few of these stickers. They have them now. They're um, like part of their sticker shop. They have like gold plated ones. I have one on a card case. Uh, I have one on one of my other Kate Spade bags, but I liked the fabric one and I especially liked this pink one for spring. So I thought sticking it on my black bag would be perfect. And it's really cute Ooh, right in the corner. Um, they do have this bag in a few different colors. They have it in a pale pink. They have it right now, um, they had it I think in a beige when I bought it, but I haven't seen that one recently. So they have the black, I think they still have the pale pink, they have a mint green which is stunning for spring, and I really like, I really do like the scallop detail. They do have this same bag in smaller versions of like crossbodies and satchels and stuff like that, but I do like the tote. I do think that this is a durable bag, I think it is like it's I forget the price I think it's around 300 which is a pretty decent price for a Kate Spade tote I think her bags range from the like 150 to 350 range I think that's the most I would probably spend on a Kate Spade but she's always having surprise sales this won't be included in a surprise sale because it's too new um, but she's always having like 25% off 15% off um, 25% off sale styles and a version of this bag might be in the sales section on her website if it is I'll link it down below but I definitely think this is a great work tote um it is structured so with here I'll show you with nothing in it it does remain it does like hold its shape like really really well compared to my Tory Burch Perry tote, which has a similar, um, it has similar material, but it's very slouchy. And the Gemini Link tote, which I'll, I'll do a review on all those too, but they have, uh, the Gemini Link tote has a structured, has, has a structured, um, shape to it, but this definitely does, and it's very, very, very light. I mean, there's really no weight to this at all so there and there are days where it is very light and I'm like oh what what did I forget but on any given day I have all the stuff I showed you plus my lunch which is either a sandwich or like a lean cuisine my breakfast which is usually oatmeal uh in a Tupperware container and then a Ziploc bag of like pretzels a Ziploc bag of granola and like two granola bars I carry a lot of snacks with me plus a filled water bottle that water bottle is really not full plus my planners and and usually an ipad my, my ipad mini 
so it does hold a lot it's pretty deceiving it looks like it wouldn't hold a lot but when you put everything like in its place it's good to go so I highly recommend this bag Kate Spade like I said is my favorite designer she has a lot of good stuff um I have some Kate Spade links that I will post down below a Kate Spade posts um but stay tuned for more bag reviews thank you for watching this and I'll see you next time bye